What is going on, people? Day number five of the 31 Days Half October series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series where, well, this is the third year I'm doing it, that I will do 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days for the entire month of October. A lot of people are doing it, which, when you're done with this, check the show notes because I'll have a whole bunch of, uh, not show notes, but the uh, description. I'm so used to the door coming. Anyway, um, check the description for everybody else who's doing it. I'll link their channels, and then you can check out them doing it. Uh, a lot of people are calling it different. I'm calling it 31 Days, Half October. Also, I'm doing a little bit different. I'm doing more indie titles, lesser-known movies, and I'm also doing it in alphabetical order. The first day I did a nice little haul, then I did um, another Wolf Cop, then I did Bloodfest, yesterday I did The Crucifixion, and today I'm going with D, and that is Dead Shack. Dead Shack was written by, or directed by, Peter Rick. It's written by Phil Ivanisk, Ivanusk, horrible with pronunciations, uh, also Davila LeBlanc, uh, it stars Matthew Nelson Mahood, Lizzie Boys, and Gabriel uh, Gabrielle LaBelle, among many others. So pretty much what this is, it's a young teenager, very shy young teenager, named, I believe it's Jason, Jason, he ends up going on a trip into the woods with his not-so-shy um, friend, his sister, who you could tell Jason kind of has a crush on, uh, the friend's father, and then his step, or, or his wife, which is their stepmother. So they end up going into the woods, like I said, for a, you know, a nice weekend getaway. Well, this weekend getaway turns into something completely different when they stumble upon uh, one of the, you know, fellow cabins or the neighbor cabin, I guess you want to call it. Uh, they end up uh, seeing this woman kind of feeding these people to they don't know what. You realize that this woman has a group of zombies that she's feeding random people to. I guess she's bringing them home, kind of thinking, you know, they're going to seduce her or whatever. And she gets the upper hand, kind of feeds them whatever, or, or gives them a drink of some sort. They end up passing out, and she ends up feeding them to the zombies. Well, she gets a wind of, you know, the kids finding out or, or checking out or whatever you want to call it so now it's these three kids and <clears throat> the father against these horde of zombies well you can't really call it a horde i don't even know the number of of zombies it would take to consider it to be a horde but now it's this family against this woman who is, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't remember if, it, if it's explained why she started the whole thing, but her, her zombies against this family. I must say it is, if you couldn't tell, I'm a big, uh, if you didn't hear me say it, I'm a big horror comedy uh, fan. So this is another horror comedy. It has a little bit, actually a lot of gore in it. Um, but for the most part, it is a fun little, it's, it's got its action part, not action f per se, but they dress up in these pretty interesting getups. I don't know if you could tell by the, uh, by the cover, you know, the one guy puts on a helmet, the other, uh, couple people, they have these, uh, you know, big bats and whatever. So it is a fun overall movie because it turns from, you know, a family getaway into, you know, good versus evil, humans versus zombies. It's just a fun movie overall. I'd say definitely go ahead. If you like the mash of, well, not really a mash, but it's a, if you like the zombie, zon, uh, z zombie genre turned up, you know, up on its head and, and a new version of a zombie movie, then I think you definitely like uh, The Dead Shack. So definitely check that out. I'll leave the link to where you can watch the trailer along with where you can purchase it. Also, like I said, in the description, I'll leave the link to where uh, to everyone else who's doing some kind of 
uh, review. Uh, some people are calling it 31 Days of Halloween, which I know the 13th Wolfman is. Uh, Super Retro Throwback Reviews is doing, um, doing something along with... Uh, sequels, horror movie sequels for the entire month, so he picks one and then reviews its sequels and, and so on and so forth. And then I know a whole bunch of other people are doing it as well, so I will link their channels. So, you know, most people like watching horror movies and sometimes they need new titles to check out. So, if you're not checking out my videos, check out everybody else's. So, Definitely, if you enjoyed this review or review uh, or enjoyed the other reviews that I have done, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and of course, hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload uh, all my videos. And definitely stick around for the rest of the month because not only will you see probably movies you've never heard of or might have wanted to check out, but we're kind of you know iffy on them. I'll review them and then possibly that might push you towards watching them more. But also, you know, it's just it's just a fun time to uh, to watch some scary stuff. So I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.